Now you see this? That's not good. Now, as you remember on the last video I made, well, not last, but the last video I made off this, uh, when the agitator wasn't working, that was actually on the 80 series washer over at my dad's place. And um, basically what he did was he just drilled four screws into the cam, the cam assembly, took this off, uh, took four screws, drilled them in, and uh, what that did was that actually made a stop instead of the agitator going forward like it should it just made it turn back and forth now that's not the proper way to do it but that's how the guy told him the guy that he bought it from that's how the guy had actually told him to do it I mean yes it was free but still In fact, I actually think I have an extra dog up in my bedroom, in my drawer, a spare dog that I didn't use. That mainly, that was mainly actually for the wolf washer, but I think I might actually have a spare dog. That I think I might be able to use, but that's no good. reason why is because I don't want that happening to this washer. See, how this is supposed to work is it's supposed to turn one way forward, which is for the clockwise way, but not the other. And you can hear that grinding sound. It still actually does grip a little, but it's they were it wasn't doing that before so that definitely means that this is only starting that sucks well there you have it Let's see if I can uh, maybe get this fixed the proper way have this situated out all right
Well, see you probably in a little bit, guys. Okay, so here we are, back with the washer, and the uh, dryer's going by the way. The noise you hear, hear, you're hearing from it is, uh, it's bearing, it's on its way out, but anyway, so, took the agitator out, check, checking into it, and, uh, look at what's happened here. Didn't actually take long to find out what the issue was. Let's see if I can show you this. See that? See that right there? See how that dog has come loose? It's broke off of its uh, little. Um, it's broke off of its end there, or its end broke off, or whatever. You can see here. I know the part is like uh, two or three bucks or something like that, but I don't know. I might. I mean, I might as well. I mean, I I do have enough money to go buy the part. I might. I mean, I might, I might as well get this fixed properly, but uh, I don't know. That kind of sucks. All right, well, let's uh, see what we can do here. I'll set this down. See how its end is missing right there? That's no good. Now this one actually does still have its end, or a little tip at the end, but there's that little end right there that came off of this piece here. There's the cam. Here are the other two. See how the teeth are worn on those? I 
I guess it just recently started doing that because I haven't been watching the washer lately on its full cycles like I used to. <laughs> that, well, that's no good. So, might as well just get the new part or just the new dogs. Shouldn't be that expensive. Alright, well, I'll be back with you soon, I guess. Okay, so here we are back with the washer next morning. And let's see. Just got the part from uh, the repair store downtown. These are part number 80040. Fits most Whirlpool KitchenAid, Kenmore, and Roper brands clothes washers. Genuine Whirlpool quality, easy to install. So, let's get to doing this. Uh, alrighty. Gonna set that down. I'm uh, just going to check it out. You, wow, you can even see some of the teeth there off the old dogs. Just get all the, them old chunks out. in there but it's not gonna matter I guess. This is just my rag to wipe off my hands. But here's the cam. So let's get to opening the package. Get to see opening. Excuse any background noise. My mom is actually watching Midsummer Murder. Kind of cool. So, all right, let's open it. Open her up. Okay, got the packet open. Now we can dump the dogs out. Don't, don't want to lose them, so that's why we have the lid closed. Now, let's grab them. Okay, now, here's how you install them. See how this has like this little edged out groove? or edged out part on top. Make sure that is on top, all right? When you install these into these little slots here. Just like so. Hard to do this one hand. There you go. Now your agitator dogs are installed. So now, let's see. Hang on. Basically, uh, what we'll do here is kind of the same as I uh, showed you in the other video on how to repair this. So just give me a second, guys.
back on the shaft as usual, line it up. Oh, and uh, get our screw. up so just give me a minute guys up here. Oops. Uh, there we go. Uh, nice and snug. Just what we want. Okay. Now let's see. Let's try it out. Perfect. Beautiful. All right, she's up and working again. There you have it, guys. Let's uh, um, let's see if we can do a quick load here and test her out. See how she works here. So I'll be back with you in a few minutes and take care. And that's how to repair the agitator on a Kenmore 1994 Kenmore 70 series washing machine. Take care, and I'll see you in a few minutes. For this wash cycle, I'm going to leave the cap and the sensor off here. Again, excuse any background noises.
just about four and the washing will begin. Wow, just like a charm. as simple as that. Nothing to it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that washing action, too. You don't see that? You can't... There's no comparison between this... Oh, hang on. Let me... Okay. There's no comparison between this direct drive washer and the new high efficiency belt drive washers. You do a side by side comparison, there's no way, there, there's just no comparison. I mean, I think it's obvious that direct drive is for the win. And, and, and you even compare this, or compare the old pre-1986 Whirlpool Kenmore belt drives to the new high efficiency washers. There's no comparison between the two. I mean, dang, it's amazing how they made these. No slipping, look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. We'll skip this part until we get to the drain. Drain cycle and spin portion of the cycle. Sorry, I didn't get the start of the drain, but I was a little late. Sorry.
that's how it should be working. It should turn one way, but when it goes the other way, it should grip and clutch like a like a little locking mechanism and carry the the auger forward. So look, I'm putting pressure on this. There's no slippage, no um, no delay in the in the walkage. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. neutral drain start sound. Even though it was the wind cycle on I me, mean, it still had the stupid suds in there. So, but nothing you can do about that.
Alrighty, there you guys have it. And she's fixed. She's back. Yep, just like a charm. Awesome. Alright, well, there you have it. Take care. And that's how to repair a Kenmore 70 series model 110.9227300 CB2436247 washing machine. Take care. And as usual, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.